Finance ministers Tumbeko Msokotwani and Bank of Zambia Governor Denny Kaliaria have met Zambians living in Washington, D.C. and surrounding states. The one-hour meeting was held both physically and virtually. During the meeting, Dr. Kaliaria explained the factors that have led to the kwacha gaining against the dollar. So it's a combination of factors, but the really tipping point was that once the critical demand was met, I think the demand kind of eased and then the change happened. And with this, the SLA, this is the staff labor agreement uh, pronouncement, I think the market participants you see that things are improving and so sentiments also tend to adjust accordingly. In his address, Dr. Msokotwan explained how Zambians in the diaspora can help develop their homeland. So to tell the banks of the opportunities that are coming out of the, uh, of the uh, these people who are outside and see whether they can create financial products that can suit the requirements of our, our citizens who are out here. And Zambians in America shared some of their successes and concerns. You send money to your relatives and they use it or they do what they do with it. But I think it will be safe if we send money and we put it in our bank account. So we have a very hard time that living there as for to open a bank account. It's there where we can get a loan back home, build a home, but we are servicing from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to thank you so much for your time, uh, for, you know, for I mean, accommodating us at this shortest period of time. During the interaction, one Zambian group explained it had so far invested 10 million kwacha in government bonds nine months after it was set up. Paul Sharala, ZNBC News in Washington, D.C., in the United States of America.